welcome to Lincoln Square Mall in Urbana, Illinois. Now this mall um, has a hotel attached to it, but the hotel actually came first. The uh, hotel that you see here was built in 1923 and it was called the Urbana Lincoln Hotel. Now this uh, hotel um, had, had a tumultuous history. In 1937, it went bankrupt. Um, and then another company called the Urbana Lincoln Company took over the hotel in 1944. And in the 70s, the uh, Jumer Hotel chain took it over. And then they, they sold it in 2001 and from from then on it was bought and sold multiple times and then in 2010 it was bought by I can't pronounce his name Zhao Jin Wan but he bought it for uh, six hundred thousand dollars and he renamed it as you can see here the Urbana Landmark Hotel now he made some uh, renovations to the hotel, including fixing the roof, upgrading the uh, air conditioning, plumbing, modernizing the rooms. And uh, he was gonna open it in 2012, but then he put the hotel up for sale again in 2016. And as of right now, uh, the hotel is unoccupied. Um, the source that this came from was Wikipedia. And here's another shot of, of the hotel. I mean, this uh, architecture is stunning. Um, it's listed, along with the mall itself, it's listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places, and that was done in 2006. So in other words, this building and the mall is not going anywhere. Okay, here's the inside of the mall itself. Now this mall, it was attached to the hotel and built in 1964 in uh, downtown Urbana. Now what you're looking at right here is uh, the original anchor spot. Now this was three different names. First off, it was a Carson Perry Scott. Now in 1988, um, I had an aunt and uncle that moved down here temporarily and my aunt actually worked at the Carson Perry Scott. And I, and I remember she used to buy us gifts and everything from the little, I guess it was the called the Arcadia store. It was it was inside of Carson's and it had office supplies and all that good stuff. So I was down here in 1988, um, and uh, then later on, Bergner's uh, bought Carson Perry Scott. So then it became a uh, Bergner's. And then, before before this emptied out, for some reason, it became a Herberger's department store. I mean, they're based out of Minnesota. I don't know why the nameplate Herberger's was chosen. And then, and then the store closed in uh, 2002. So this this is so since 2002, this has been uh, multiple things. Um, it was subdivided into some different stores. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a walk through this mall. And there is a lot of vintage history, a lot of vintage stuff in this mall. I mean, the, the, the floor and everything, it looks like it's original. Um, it looks like some things just haven't been touched since the 80s. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a walk through the mall. Um, I'll do a little bit of commentary as we go. And then I'll come back and wrap it up. Now check out the floor. Bunch of cute little shops down that way.
No, there's an elevator. There's a mezzanine level that's above this uh, row of stores here. Okay, here's the uh, entrance to the hotel. Now, the mall was actually attached to the hotel. Hey guys, you want to talk about vintage architecture in a mall? Here's some 1923 vintage architecture. A lot of locally owned shops in this mall. That used to be a Fannie Mae, I remember that. Now there's some a lot of people in this mall. Something was going on. Um, there's a farmer's market out in the parking lot, so that draws a crowd into this mall. It's a Fannie Mae again. There's some stuff down that little wing there there's the there's an art co-op there so there's a lot of like unique little shops in this mall no national chains whatsoever I'll check this out here's evidence of uh, back back when this mall was a retail center that art, that Baskin right there, that used to be a Baskin. That that's that was a cool label scar. I'm glad I found that. Then there's a uh, co-op grocery store. Now I remember this corridor back when I was down here in 1988 as a kid. I remember this had a T G and Y. And if you don't know what a T G and Y is, um, basically. It's kind of like a Dollar General, but but it, ha it had more items in it. it. Had like clothing and everything. Um, there's an empty hallway down there. So that's the best way I can explain what a TG and Y was. That's a cool little mall here. I will be back with some final thoughts. Now I kind of found it difficult to drive around this mall um, because there, there was a farmer's market going on so the parking lot was pretty full and plus plus it was kind of confined being in a downtown area so I couldn't get a lot of outside shots. Those hotel shots came from Google Maps actually because I forgot to take pictures of the hotel. Um, so, um, so, so Basically, this mall coexisted with the Marketplace Mall, which I just did a video of in Champaign. And obviously, the Marketplace Mall is the more dominant mall, and this one was kind of left in the dust a little bit. So uh, on that note, um, I'm just going to wrap this up and say uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, and uh, I do have a lot more content. The next mall that I'm going to is the Cross County Mall in Mattoon. Um, I got I got a lot I got a lot of footage of that. I also got a lot of footage of other malls that are in Central Illinois as we continue the tour of the Central Illinois malls. So God bless you, and continue to have a wonderful summer.